Hi, this video will be looking for how do we import data from different resources like from the internet that's a web based and also we'll be looking for how to import from notepad. Let's see the first one. Suppose you want to get the live cricket scores in your Excel without opening the browser. This is possible. You want to check the share values for finance in your Excel without opening, opening the browser. It is also possible. Let's see that how we can do. For that you need to have some website URL which is changing dynamically. Let's see that. Now if I open a browser, I have some website name that's a timeanddate.com and if you see the current time which is working right now, it's 19.21.56 seconds. This number, this time is changing automatically. If you see, what I'll do is I want to change this data. I want to get this data into my Excel. So first thing is you should have the URL. I'll just copy the URL, control C. Copy the URL, control C and I'll just minimize it. And now what I'll do is I'll go to some blank sheet where I want to paste it and I can go to this insert tab or I can go to this data tab and you see there's a get external data. I can get external data from different resources. One is Microsoft Access from web from text. So I'll select from web. Now it will give me a browser. This is a private browser for Microsoft Excel. I need to paste the URL and I have to click on this go button. So first I need to delete this garbage link which is given here and I'll paste using control V. That's a website URL which I have and I have to click on go and it loads. It takes time to load here. Yeah. So once it's done, so what will happen is you see the scroll. So that is the same time 192301 which is changing now. So what I can do is I'll just take it up. Now it says there's single line wherever you get this kind of checkbox. You have to click on that. Click on that checkbox next to the table you want. Now some websites you can get small uh, boxes like this. I'll just click on that. Now if you see this data will be imported into my Excel live data will be imported like this. So some websites you get small boxes and you get that kind of yellow checkbox. You can select and use it. Right now I have this one so I've selected and the second thing is you have to click on import right. I'll just click on this import and it will get imported. Right. After that dialog box, it will ask what is the location you want to store? Do you want to store in the this location that is the existing that is $A, $1 or else you want to paste on the new worksheet. Right now I want to paste here because it's a blank worksheet. I'll click on OK and it is getting data from that website. So you see that's a data which I've got and I'll show you some data which is dynamic here. Changing data. Time and date, time and date. Okay, I'll check it. There's some time which is changing. Yeah, so I've got that. I'll just maximize. I got that time which is changing. So now if you see the time is 19.23.54, that's 7 p.m. 7.23 p.m. now. Now observe this 7.23 p.m. So if I go to this data tab and if I click on refresh, there is an option as refresh. So see the time will change. Uh, 7.23, it will change refresh. So you see there's some option you'll get it. You see that's 1923 changed to 1924 and 40. Again you keep keep on refreshing it will change see 48. So now I have to do it manually. Is there any setting which I should get live scores as I said or live time which is changing now. So I can do that. So if you keep your cursor you see there's a properties button which is enabled. If I keep my cursor here that is at this place this properties will be disabled. And if I keep my cursor here it is enabled. I'll just click on this properties dialog box. This dialog box, if you see there's written here something as refresh every by default 60 seconds. I'll click on that place. I do not want, I cannot wait for 60, uh, 60 minutes. I have to wait for one minute. That's the maximum I can wait. And I'll click on OK. Now the time is uh, 192448. If we just wait for some one minute, you see the time automatically changes automatically. So same you can get the cricket live scores you know you don't have to go to the browser click on that link and select the country versus which is working or also you can you don't have to go to the share market website you can get everything calculation here itself. So every one minute it will refresh the data. So when it shows you the refresh at the bottom if you see there's a, a message which will get it getting data from the website somewhere you'll get the message here. Let us see wait for some more time let's say 30 seconds it will show automatically now. Next topic meanwhile we'll go for that 
uh, from notepad after this we'll be seeing how to get the notepad suppose some person changes some data on the desktop or some location something you have changed automatically in your excel file the data will change so this setting also we can do with the from notepad the option which will be available here that is in this place from text so let us see first yeah so you see the time has changed automatically now it has set as 19 26 27 so we waited for one minute and automatically the time changed this is very useful uh, for people like finance background they use a lot they try to calculate how many shares they have sold what is the profit they have got and so on all the calculations now next is how do i get something from notepad the first thing is i should have a notepad on the desktop or some other location i have some notepad file that's my notepad file and the name of the file is my notepad file double click and open this one sentence written what is that sentence i've written that's a favorite quote of mine a quote of mine that is work in such a way that your presence and absence should be felt what i want is i want to copy this line into my excel and if i keep on changing this data in my excel it should automatically change so i'll just close it first remember the name of the file my notepad file and the location is desktop so i'll go back to my excel here that's my excel here and now how do i get it go to data tab click on this get external data and you see there's an option as from text so from text which text you have the location i have the location i'll click on desktop on the desktop that's my notepad file click on notepad file and click on import now you remember that is text to uh, text to columns options where you get a text and you can break into separate columns the reason is sometimes you don't want 40 50 000 lines into one cell you want to break into different columns now i want in the same column i do not want to do anything i just click on this finish and i'll get the same line now it will ask where do you want do you want in the same sheet or do you want in the existing worksheet i'll see in the same sheet click on ok and you see it says the same line i've got it here work in such a way that your presence and absence should be felt now what i want is i i want that if the data changes on the desktop it should change automatically so same if i click uh, right now i'll go manually and change it there so i'll go to desktop click here and i'll delete entirely work but make sure smart work hard but make sure you also work smart and i'll close it it will ask to save saved it so i've changed the proverb let's go back to excel go back to excel in this place yeah now the text is written here the same text do i need to refresh yes i need to re refresh it but when i refresh it is asking import text file why it is asking import text file let's see that uh, if i click on import text file in this notepad file it will work i'll i'll cancel it again if i click on refresh what is happening is if i click on refresh it is asking me which file do you want to refresh so that is not what i want i want my work to be saved so what i'll do is i'll keep my cursor at that location which i've imported data click on properties you see there's an option given as prompt for file name on refresh why should i do that i do not want to you know prompt the dialog box i'll remove that option and click on ok that's it and i have to just click on refresh so refresh and the text changes automatically click on refresh automatically text changes work hard but work smart i'll just you know make auto fit the entire table itself okay so it has divided somehow so it should not be there so this is how you can change the data dynamically from text notepad similarly i have some other options which is available here from access from other sources you can do it like this from access from the other sources which are available loads of options are available here so this way now also you can keep a timer here the la last thing i'll show you here if you keep on click on properties you can ask them i want to refresh every one minute not 60 minutes every one minute click on ok so any person who's sitting if it's in the shared drive network if they keep on changing automatically you can get an update in the excel that is interconnected so i think i hope uh, you have understood how to import data from notepad and web-based that's all for this video.